As part of our mission here at Faith, our heart is to reach others with the love of Christ both locally and globally. Reach Global empowers the church to go and make disciples of all nations. This global missions ministry is committed to fulfilling the Great Commission by bringing hope to the nations. We do this by sending global teams across the globe to serve missionaries and complete global projects. Last year alone, we sent over 150 people on 11 trips worldwide while financially supporting over 1,000 missionaries. Reach Local mobilizes volunteers throughout Orlando, partnering with local organizations to bring hope to the neighborhood. Each week, local teams are sent throughout our city, volunteering in reach opportunities such as feeding the homeless, cleaning our city, and mentoring the youth. Check out this story from one of our reach team leaders, Cisco, as he shares about the mission God has placed on his heart. My name is Francisco. I've been a faith assembly for three years. When I was eight years old, my mom moved from St. Croix to Camden, New Jersey, a very rough neighborhood. I got incarcerated for uh, violence, battery on Leo, and uh, they gave me uh, three years. I had an encounter with God in 2008. My little brother accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior around that year, and when I seen that glow in him, I said, God, if you're real, I want what you gave him. I never realized that how God would use what I went through in life for His glory today. Everything you go through in life, God always gonna use it for somebody that's going through the same thing you went through. That opened my eyes and I said, I am tired of running from you. I'm gonna do what you call me to do, and that's to preach the gospel. I remember one time I was talking to Kendrick and I told him, man, God has put in my life to talk to the individuals that are incarcerated. Kendrick came up to me, hey man, we got something better. Now we could go to the juvenile detention. I'm gonna go because Somebody need to hear a word of God. Somebody need to hear that Jesus loved him and that he died for our sins. These kids are so hungry for Jesus. When they see us, they're like, what, you got Bibles? You got Bibles? We need prayer, we need prayer. One time that we went in there and this kid was telling us that he was gonna take his life. Something told him to read the word of God because we passed our Bibles in there. He said all he did was started crying once he started reading that word. And when we got there, that we was talking to him about God. He accepted Jesus Christ right there and then. And every time we see him, man, now he's happy. And uh, he was excited to show us his pictures of the, his new baby, his wifey. And it's amazing to see that a person that was about to take his life, how happy he is now in Christ. Because we have something that they never heard before. You know what I mean? We gotta let them know that we love them. Even though the, the street don't show you that, I always tell them that, hey man, I know you don't always hear this, and you might not believe me, but I love you. And every hug that I give you ain't just coming from me, but it's coming from the Father. To my brothers and sisters here at Faith, serve in some type of outreach, or whatever the case may be, just serve. You know what I mean? You're gonna see how that's gonna impact your life because it changed my life. Not only my life, but my, my, my wife's life too. Yeah, you're gonna have some butterflies when you first go to whatever reach group you go to. Man, we need help to, to, to preach the gospel to these kids, to people itself. You know, we need help praying. You know, it's like going to uh, a mission trip. One is a different country and one here is down the street. We, we, need, we need help. We can't, we can't do it by ourselves. You know, we need the army. And with the army, we could conquer a lot of things. If you haven't served or if you haven't went out and got into one of these reach groups, all of them will impact your life in a powerful way. Let you know, it did to me and I know it will do to you.